All right, this is a quick video over G C. And I bet you already have a really good idea of what GC is. But before we even start touching GC, let's start off with just talking about forces. So a force is equal to the mass times the acceleration. And on Earth, we have the acceleration at 9.81 meters per second squared. And we call that G. That's G. So the force on Earth due to a mass is g so force is equal to mg so if we had a box that was one kilogram and we also had just had it sitting on the sitting on a table or something so we'd have the force which is equal to the mass of one kilogram times g and g is 9.8 9.81 meters per second squared. So that will give us 9.81 kilogram meters per second squared. And this this is a Newton. That's a Newton. A Newton is equal to a kilogram per meter second squared. So we can say that that's actually equal to 9.81 um, newtons. So how do we actually put use a conversion factor? Like how do we actually convert that? We actually have a new we actually use GC. GC is when we divide this side by newtons and we put it over here. So we just divide both sides by newtons and that is then equal to 1 and we say that is GC. So GC is equal to a kilogram times a meter all over a newton second squared. So our new equation can be force is equal to the mass times the gravitational, the gravitational constant of acceleration all over GC. So then we have our one kilogram, one kilogram times 9.81 meters per second squared and that is all over a kilogram per meter newton second squared and this cancels out and these cancel out that cancels out and then the newton just comes on top so then we have 9.81 Newtons. So that's what GC is. It's just a a um, unit conversion factor. And it seems kind of pointless in putting it in there, but when we start dealing with uh, more complicated math, it's really useful, especially when you're dealing with fluids and you're using the mechanical energy balance equation. GC, when you go further into dynamics or just fluids in general, you'll, you'll use GC a lot more. Right now it seems kind of pointless if you're not doing any of that and you're just doing these really simple equations, but in the future it, it does 